We're here at the GS1 Pit AIDC barcode lab. And what the lab does is take barcodes that we've specifically engineered to have specific flaws and errors in them, and it runs them on the current machines that we have here to make sure that they all work. Uh, the center performs several different types of barcode testing. Uh, one station is for general distribution setups with mounted scanners that are externally triggered for high-speed uh, barcode testing. One of the stations is for uh, high-speed point-of-sale testing, which is designed to test um, barcode scanners that you would see in a grocery store. Um, and then one of the other stations is the handheld or presentation scanner station. Um, where we test handheld scanners, again, that you would see in a grocery store. Uh, we also do long distance testing, which can be uh, scanners which read barcodes at up to 10 meters sometimes away. So what we do here is look to verify and confirm that our standards are right, but also we're looking for ways that we can change them. Uh, the testing we perform is to develop a statistical basis. We'll, um, we'll run each symbol that we test through uh, each scanner um, over a thousand times. So far we've done over 600,000 scans um, just on the general distribution station alone. There are different symbologies of barcodes um, such as the 1D symbologies. There are also two-dimensional versions. Uh, so we need to make sure that whenever the barcodes are printed that they're printed to an appropriate quality that they can be read by different scanners. The work that's being done here is very important. Uh, the barcode testing that we do here uh, enables companies all over the world to achieve interoperability with their, their barcodes and their products. We, we do a lot of medical device research. We do a lot of uh, wireless device research. From mechanical design to programming robots to software development to database design to hardware design, um, stuff that people normally only focus on a small portion of, we've had the chance to work on all of these different technologies all at once and see the end result come out through our testing. So we are very excited about the, uh, this partnership opportunity that we have with GS1. Uh, the work that we are doing with them it actually extends what we have done before and what we were planning to do in future anyway. Uh, GS1 is actually enabling us to take our research and in basic RFID technology and look at the new possibilities, especially with the barcodes. Uh, we're all electrical engineers here, and we also do have even computer engineering and software engineering backgrounds. So merging those all together gives them this uh, nice, very well, uh, very well oiled machine to it. I wasn't really expecting the, the level of engineering that would go into setting up all of these test uh, stations. And we have to be very precise in, in how the barcodes are presented to the scanners. It's really more, much more complicated than I ever expected. Um, and now going to the grocery store and uh, seeing the barcodes and seeing the different symbologies and having that knowledge, you know, it makes me realize how complex it really is. I believe that barcodes will continue to be ubiquitous. Um, it's mainly due to the cost and the ease of use. Now that everyone has a smartphone, everyone has a barcode scanner in your pocket, um, regardless of whether you realize it or not. So the, um, the technology and the, the platform is here to stay. Just think, what happens here in this test lab will literally affect every barcode that's printed around the world. It might take 10 years to get there, but where else can you say that I'm going to do something and in the next 10 years it will be in effect everywhere around the world?